I've got half my makeup on, so I probably look quite odd. <laughs> um, but the new Axiology Lip to Lid Balmies came in the mail. And um, one of you at least said that you were interested in these, so I figured I would show you, you know, we'd sort of do them together. So I did get one of the trios. This is the, I'm actually not sure what they're calling this trio. It's one of them. But it's the one that contains champagne, peach, and clementine, which is the one that I would pick for myself. I didn't actually get to pick the colors that they sent. Um, I think they sent it probably based on, I don't know, maybe skin type or something, because I've seen other other bloggers get different shades. So this is the this is the trio that I would have picked for myself, especially for this peach shade. Looks so, so, so pretty. Okay, so I wanted to tell you a little bit about these before we got into them. So they are the new lip to lid balmies. They're planet friendly, wear anywhere crayons that hydrate like a bomb. Um, they're 100% zero waste, so they've ditched the shiny packaging to help planet to help our planet and your wallet. Balmies are the same size as the OG crayons, but half uh, cost half as much. So this is the crayon. Um, if, I mean, you guys are familiar. If you're if you're not new to my channel, you've seen me talk about Axiology a bunch. It's been a little while since I've talked about them just because I've been really into like lip glosses lately and they haven't had a launch in a long time. So it has been a little bit since I've talked about them. Um, but I've done swatches for I think pretty much every color they've got on my channel somewhere. <laughs> I'll link down all the times that I've ever talked about Axiology down below. But their crayon launch was one of my favorite launches ever. Um, go back and watch that video because it's really fun, but I loved that launch. So this is the crayon. So rolling it up, um, the product in the crayon is the exact same product that you're going to get in the Balmies. And the Balmies are $14 and um, I forget if these are $28 or $30. It's one of the two. Um, but I'll link the crayons and the lipsticks and all that down below as well. But yeah, so it's the same amount of product. It just, it seems like you're, it's not that big because I know when I got them, I was like, these things are tiny. Um, but knowing that it's this, I just dropped it. Knowing it's the same amount of product in here kind of makes sense because you know, these aren't filled all the way to the bottom. So they're packed with oils, butters, and antioxidants such as elderberry, hemp, and plum oil to help nourish, heal, and hydrate the skin. And then to use them, you tear off the paper as needed and recycle as you go. Keep Balmies in the red box that they came in, made from recycled trash in Bali and recycle when done. So if, again, if you're familiar with Axiology, their wrappers are made from recycled trash from Bali. I talked about that like in one of the reviews that I did. I think it's really awesome. Um, and the boxes are no different. It's made from recycled trash again. So these are the three shades in this one trio and it's champagne, peach, and clementine. So they do have four different, what I guess would be considered highlighter shades. Um, they go from re like light to sort of like an icing um, all the way up to sort of like deep. So I think they meant for this to be usable for all skin tones. And I did actually go and order a couple more of these. They haven't come yet, but I wanted to just do this video just like sort of for the launch. Um, but I did order one more of the highlighter shades, the one that's the lightest sort of, I think it was called frosting or something. And then I also ordered the watermelon shade because those were the, the shades that I was really attracted to were these and that watermelon shade. So I'm only gonna do one shade, or actually, I'm gonna do one of these, and I'm gonna do um, the highlighter, the highlighter shade. So we're gonna do sort of like a monochromatic look. Um, like I said, again, I do have all the rest of my other makeup on. I've got foundation and bronzer, concealer, brows, um, mascara. All I'm missing is my lips, my eyes, and my cheeks. So. That's what we're gonna do. So if we wanna go over all of the ingredients before we get into these, they're castor oil, cocum butter, sunflower oil, um, sunflower seed wax, hemp, plum seed oil, um, vitamin E, elderberry, and um, neem seed oil. So slightly different, I believe, than from their, their, their other, you know, the lipsticks and the crayons, because I believe those are more like coconut and orange and yeah, because those these don't really, I mean, they wouldn't have an orange smell. They're not made with any of the orange ingredients. Um, but yeah, those are like avocado, I believe, is in them as well. So it's a little bit of a different formula, probably because it's a little bit of a different delivery system. So you know what? Let's do swatches of all three first. So this is Clementine, Peach, and Champagne. Such pretty colors. I love all three of these. Definitely ones I would have picked out myself again. So I'm just going to go in. I'm going to start with my cheeks we'll do a little bit on the cheeks and then we'll just sort of blend out with the fingers i don't know how much i need 
Probably not a ton. I'm not going anywhere today. I'm just picking up dinner. At least once a week, we like to um, support our one of our favorite um, sit-down restaurants because they do like family meal um, and pick up food. Tonight we're picking up baked ziti, garlic bread, tiramisu. I'm excited. That's really pretty. Let's build it up a little bit more. You guys know I like an intense cheek color. Last night, I know this is sort of like side tangent-y, um, I was like sitting down at my computer after my kid went to bed. I was just like watching, watching a show. I'm re-watching True Blood because I'm like a lot of stuff to watch. So I'm like re-watching some of my favorite shows. Um, I'm re-watching True Blood and I'm sitting there and I start to get this like really intense like dizzy feeling. I have a history of vertigo. I've had really intense vertigo um, episodes a lot in my life actually and it's been a few years since my last one and last night for some reason I just got another really intense episode of vertigo. I didn't throw up, thank God, because I've it's been so bad sometimes that uh, one, the one time it was the worst, I was working in college at my college bookstore and I got this sudden wave of nausea and like dizziness. Like you, if, if you have, if you've had vertigo, you know, it just, it's like sudden, it comes on out of nowhere. Um, and I like, I fell to the ground and like try, cause I was, I was at the cash register. I was ringing somebody up and I just like got this intense wave of like nausea all of a sudden. And I just like, I was, I hit the ground and the person was like, are you okay? And I was like, yeah, I just don't feel so good. <laughs> so they were like trying to take me back to the break room. And on the way there, like I couldn't even, the nausea was so bad. I just threw up like everywhere. And then they had to take me on like a golf cart to the like uh, medical center on campus. And then I was just like throwing up. I had, they had me on an IV. Someone had to come pick me up. Like that was the worst it's ever been. So it's been quite a while. Since it's happened, well, it's happened, it happened, you know, previous to that, but that was the worst. Um, that was the worst that it had ever happened. It happened, it happens every couple of years. So last night I'm sitting there and, um, you know, I get the dizziness and I'm like, crap, I'm going to get it again. It's been, it's been a while. I'm getting it again. Um, so then I just laid on the floor and I couldn't. I, I, I had to lay just like flat, just like straight flat on my back. I couldn't even turn my head like this because I would, the, the whole room would spin. Like it just looked like it was just like this. And like couldn't, I couldn't turn my head to the other side. So my husband had to bring me my um, contact case because I was wearing my contacts. And then I just like, I just laid on the floor. <laughs> and this morning I had to take a sick day from work because um, I was still, I was feeling real spinny when I woke up this morning. I was like, I just can't do it. I can't do I can't sit in front of a computer today. So I slept pretty much. My kid watched TV all day. I I just couldn't I couldn't parent today. I had to my husband had to work. He can't get any time off. Um but yeah, I just had to it took until about noon before I finally was able to like get up without feeling intense nausea. I almost threw up this morning making my kid breakfast. I did do that. I did make him breakfast. <laughs> Um, but I almost threw up doing that because it was so, it was in such a bad place. Okay, so we're gonna do eyes now. Sorry, I like go off on these tangents sometimes. So we're gonna do peach on the eyes. I do have, um, I'm just gonna do it lightly. And then I'll, I'm, you know, I might go over with champagne as well to give it sort of like a, um, give it a little bit of a shimmer. So how many of you guys out there also suffer from vertigo luckily i don't get it that often but when i do get it it is it's intense and it's debilitating i haven't had it since i've had oliver until last night i've had it pretty bad over the course of my life though but who else who else has suffered from vertigo it's just it's so crazy how it's just so so sudden you're just sitting there and all of a sudden it's just like nausea, man, nausea. So that's on the eyes and the cheeks. Very pretty. You know what, let's go over, before we do the lips, let's just do a little bit of this sort of like in the center of the lid. Just for like for a little, 
a little shimmer, and then we'll do this on like the uh, tops of the cheeks. It's not a super intense shimmer, it's pretty subtle, which I think is kind of fun sometimes, it's like a subtle, subtle shimmer. And then we'll do I always like to do my nose here. I always do a little bit on the forehead. Okay, so that's the highlighter. Just subtle, just like a nice subtle shade. And then we'll do lips. This sort of reminds me of the shade um, Keen. I might have to go get it and uh, swatch it just to see how similar it is to Keen. There we go. Just a super simple monochromatic peach look. Okay. I'm loving that. I'm loving that. Sometimes I like to do like a monochromatic thing where, you know, everything is the same color. Okay. So this one is keen, which is sort of like an orangey color. And this one, oh, it's similar, but it's not the same. So keen is more orange where peach is more pink. Similar. Similar depths of intensity though. So yeah, if you liked Keen, I bet you would probably like that peach color, um, cause that's gorgeous. And if you're looking for sort of like multi-use products um, that are affordable and zero waste, I think these, they're actually, you know, I was skeptical when I saw them. I was like, these are really tiny. <laughs> are they gonna be that great? But I actually, I'm really loving it actually. I love the color. I love how easily it blends and applies. It's great if you like multi-use products, if you don't care that every part of your face is the same color. Um, Cause yeah, like I said, I do like a monochromatic thing from time to time and I think this is really pretty. I even love that little like highlight. So when um, frosting and watermelon come in, I'll probably do like another sort of get ready with me with it um, because I really wanna try, watermelon is more of like a red. It's more of like a red than this one is like a peach color, like a pinky peach. So I'm pretty excited about watermelon and I'm pretty excited about frosting. Um, so yeah, if you're definitely a person that likes to have minimal makeup, you like to have multi-use products, so you look for something that you can use on different parts of your face, definitely check these out. They're really cute, they're really affordable. Um, and they, and again, if you're worried about it, like not being that much product, it is the same amount of product that's in the previous crayons just for half the price. And, um, they come in this cute little, cute little container. The, the single ones obviously come in like a single and you, there are a couple of different trios that you can pick. Um, this is definitely my pick. I, I looked at the other trios and I was like, oh, the other, the other colors don't really speak to me. Um, so I didn't want to pick up too many more, but I did pick up, you know, a couple of the colors that really spoke to me. So yeah i'm really loving these especially if you're into like the zero waste thing i mean i'm not zero waste by any means but i do try um you know i try to do my best when i can and i think this is i think this is great so congratulations to axiology on the launch of the bombies i love them already <laughs> i'll link all the places that these are available i do believe credo also launched them and of course they're available on the axiology website and if i can find anywhere else where they are i'll link them down below as well so if you have any questions or if there's anything else, you know, if you want to see a look with Clementine and then of course with, um, you know, watermelon when it comes in, I, I'm happy to do all three if you want. But yeah, I am really excited about this. I thought this was really fun and I hope that you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.